Hello everyone! Welcome to Dark Souls 3, the third game in the Dark Souls name. Uh, I'm Extra Casual, this is Project Yehem, this is Praise the Sundays, and let's jump in! Indeed. Yes, indeed, let's jump in! It is called Lothrin. That's what they all say. Hmm, yes, of course. Um, so this is a turtle man. Several turtle men. Um, this is the third and final game in the Dark Souls series. Uh, not the last game of this Praise the Sundays series, of course. That would be ridiculous. Aw, poor guy. Um, but... Yeah. After... A year and a half of Dark Souls 2? Um, here we are. In Dark Souls 3. <gasps> the old lords of Cinder? You don't say... Yuck. Aldred Saint of Yucko? Ew. It's all goopy. Nasty. Mmm. I love their fashion. Their fashion is so good. They got style. Miles and miles. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Trenton, New Jersey. Yon the giant. Truly a terrible place. Um But okay, so that that's a that's a That's a big That's a big that's a big guy. And he all flamey. That's wild. Only in truth. Ooh, pretty hat. The lords will abandon their thrones. That's not great. They shouldn't do that. And I hope they don't. Spoilers, that's me. The unkindled, not that lady. Um nameless, accursed, undead, unfit yep. to be cinder. That describes me pretty well. So it is. Lol. The dash seeketh embers. Y yep. Mm-hmm. It certainly does. Um Hello? Hey, okay. Um, so, um, I did some, uh, stuff earlier. Uh, definitely want to get that. That's the best thing to start with. Um, I did a thing earlier and made myself a face, um, that I kind of like. It's not the best face, but it's okay. Uh, because otherwise, I probably would either end up going with a default face or going full Monster Factory. And I don't want to just go full Monster Factory. Um, but yeah, so here we are. This is the stuff we're starting with. Um, and let's just fucking kick it off. Um, as you could probably tell by the Clitter Clacker... Clitter clacker. Clicker clacker. Whatever. Of my keyboard. Uh, I am playing on PC. As I always do. Um. But playing with a keyboard. Uh, playing with a controller. Because I'm not a fucking demon. Um. 
admittedly, I am mildly afraid of this game because hey, it's very long. Um, like I feel like this is going to be another year and a half or maybe even longer. Um, uh, which will be, you know, something. Um, and also because as far as I know, people still play this game, which is good because it means like I'll get people to summon, but also means that I'm definitely going to get invaded this game and that I'm not looking forward to because oh, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with invaders. Um, I'm bad at this game. Uh, it's fun because um, earlier uh, these last two days I was um, testing my recording stuff to make sure my software works because uh, sometimes certain programs don't work for certain for recording certain games and I don't know why um, and it's super annoying and I hate it um but, uh, anyone- Oh, fucking- You prick. Prick-ass shitlord. Um, but as anyone, uh, who has seen some of my series knows, uh, sometimes things just glitch out, and it- It's bad to look at. Um, so I was doing some test recordings. No. Um, and- it made just like a couple throwaway characters to test some stuff, uh, test different programs, test different whatevers. Um, and it was really fun because I just tore through like this whole starter zone and the first boss in like no time at all. Um, oh, please, please let me. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, and. Now that I'm actually recording, uh, it's gonna not happen that way, and I'm definitely going to get wrecked. Um, whoop! Um, so I'm starting this off, as you can see, uh, with uh, the mercenary starter, because um, I really love these twin blades, man, they're very good. Um, I don't know what build I'm gonna end up going with. Oh, come on, let's... Oh, whatever. Get fucked. Um, I'm debating between, like, sticking with duelies, uh, because I really like how this game deals with dually weapons, in that it is literally, like, as you can see in the bottom left there, uh, these two swords are considered the same weapon. Um, like... I'm not wielding two swords, it is the twin swords is one weapon, and wielding it with two hands, uh, like you would a great sword, instead takes out the second one, which is really cool, and I really like that. Um, uh, but um, I might stick with twin swords like this, or like twin weapons, because there's some very good ones that are very fun to use, um, but I also might mix it up, uh, and I might go for another, um, uh, I might go for, like, a two-handed build, because I don't think I've ever actually really done that in this game. Um, I have done a twin sword spit, uh, run, and it's so good, y'all. They're, they're so good. Uh, like, you get them properly enchanted, and, like, get a proper build for them, and they're- I think they're actually the weapon used by speedrunners? Um, I might be wrong about that. It's been a while since I saw a speedrun of this game. Um, but I think I remember- oh, don't you fucking- I think I remember, um, seeing speedrunners use them, because they're just so good! And there are, like, some rings and stuff you can get that make them just decimate. Because you can just... Wah, wah, wah. Like, 
get so many hits, and there's, like, rings that make it so that uh, the more hits you get in rapid succession, you do extra damage for hitting fast. So suddenly, like, each of those hits is doing successively more damage. Um, and... Oh, and now I'm scared. Uh, now's the now's the real test. Um, Cause now, first boss. Also, this is where some of my recording stuff was fucking up. Um, so hopefully, uh, it won't do that, but it might. And if it does, hey, sorry, y'all. Um, yes. Um, just for the hell of it, let's do that. Uh, so yeah, this is Zudix Gunder. Oh, what? I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Um, and we're done. More like Udix Dunder. Cuz. Get your Udix done, sir. Um. Alright. That's about how fast it went the other times I was recording it, which is cool. Uh, I'm apparently in the fucking zone right now, which rules. Um. But yeah, so we got the coiled sword, which co oh, f swell. Um, which is uh, what makes a bonfire? Um, oh, guy had an item. Though it was probably a soul worth like nothing. So whatever. Um, not a big deal. Just mildly annoying. Um, okay, so let's go forth here and kill these dudes. Um, so one of the big changes, uh, from this game, or from the previous games to this game, I guess, uh, is what we just saw happen, uh, when I beat that boss, which is Embering. Uh, I got Embered. It said, like, Ember Restored. And, um, basically, what that means is that I'm all flamey now, uh, which is good, because that means I have 50% extra max health, um, and that's pretty fucking baller, um, so the way Embering works is, um, Honestly, kind of a cross between um, being unhollowed in the first game and um, being alive in the second. Uh, in that uh, you do need to be... Well, I guess it's actually more just like being alive in the second now that I think about it. Because um, you do need to be uh, embered to do multiplayer stuff. Um, uh, but you can do it anywhere at any time. I believe it fully heals you to do it. Um, uh, so this is the Nakey boy. Uh, and I'm killing him for reasons. Uh, if he touches me, I'm probably going to die. Um, but, um, yeah, and, uh, you get, uh, extra 50% health, which obviously is pretty fucking good. Um, uh, your health doesn't go down as you- Oh, cool, I didn't die. Uh, as you die more, um... There's just the two states, so it's not like Dark Souls 2 in that sense. Oh! Please don't. 
A... There's a lot of ways you can cheese that guy to make him fall off to kill him. Um... I didn't feel like it. Um... I kind of just wanted to kill him. Um... In part, because I kind of wanted to see if I could. Um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, so I think that's a basic rundown of how Embered works. I didn't give a great explanation, uh, but hey, Firelink Shrine, that place sounds familiar, huh? And, um, I guess let's just, uh, take this thing out of who knows where, and make ourselves a bonfired. And rest it. Um, and talk to this lady. Thanks, it's good to be here. Neat, you weren't doing much before I got here. Ah, neat. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. What about that guy? He's here. Some of the lords have left. To be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Neat. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. Fun. I will show thee how. Cool. Ashen one. Um, yeah, so... This is how you level up. You have to talk to her. Uh, kind of like the Emerald Herald of the second game. Uh, you can't just level up at any bonfire. But... Like the second game, also, uh, you can warp from any bonfire, uh, which is very good. Um, so let's go one point luck, because luck's fun. Um, um, yeah, let's, let's go Dexy for now. Um, Oh, they will. Don't you worry. So let's meet the other people here before we uh, head out on our quest. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Yep. Well, you're not alone. You know me. We unkindled are worthless. Harsh. Don't even die right. F fair, I guess. The conniptions. Hmm. Seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. They do seem kind of nasty, yeah. They're talking true legends with the metal mm. to link the fire. Yeah, like me. I did that. Like twice. I, hey, d also, nasty. Yuck. <laughs> Don't be a fucking bootlicker, dude. Don't have aspirations of bootlicking. Sick joke. Asking us to seek the lords of Cinder. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, so there's our crestfallen boy, because every game's got to have one. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, lady. Of the shrine. You look like one of them firekeeper ladies from the second game. Hmm. Uh, so this lady's very good, and very helpful, and very good, and very helpful. Um, because... She basically is this game's merchant. There's like most, for the most part, she is like the the one who sells stuff. There's technically like two or three other people, but most shit is her. Also, you can sell stuff to her right off the bat immediately, which is very fucking good. Uh, so I'm gonna buy a torch, and I'm gonna buy a white sign soapstone. Um. Be sure to bring more souls. Will do. <laughs> oh, what would it be? It wouldn't be a Dark Souls game without a character creepily laughing. Um, so just for the hell of it, I'm going to put that there. Uh, put that there. Wait, no, uh, that, that. Mm, no. Uh, 
Uh, so, this game has two kind of quick use item zones. There's the down thing, which is used with X like uh, all other Dark Souls. But this game also uh, added this little tool belt thing where you can put some stuff for quick use. Uh, which is very fucking useful. Uh, but anyway, I just noticed what time it is. Uh, so, uh, let's talk to this big, big blacksmithy type character next time. Uh, and for now, let's call this episode. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. I will see you next time. I love you. And, uh, remember, even if you got your whole adventure ahead of you, you should praise the sun. I don't have that emote yet. I won't have it for a while. Sorry. Um, but yeah, see ya. Bye-bye!